shown up and done the necessary work. And, you know, we just got to continue to teach and play smarter. But, you know, today they found a way to get it done and fought through uh, some adversity because it wasn't pretty today. Um, it's, not, it's not easy to win on the road in the Big Ten. Everybody in this league understands that. And this is a tough venue. Um, credit Matt for having this team ready to play. They're a tough, hard-nosed team that has taken on his personality. Um, our offense made plays when we needed to make plays. Our quarterback did a tremendous job of that last drive of putting us in position to go win it. Um, I can't give enough credit to our defense. Uh, they created a bunch of turnovers. Uh, they kept playing with their back against the wall. And when we needed them to get us the ball back, they got us the ball back. And so credit to our defense, Coach Williams and his staff, uh, for having those guys ready to play. And, you know, now because of that, we have an opportunity to shift our attention to a great opportunity back at home next week at the Shell against Michigan. You know, our specialist showed up today. You know, Jack Howell's knocking in the winning field goal, hit an earlier field goal, and then Brendan Segovia uh, coming in for our injured punter, placing two of them inside the 10. Uh, it's exactly what we talk about when we say next man up. And uh, got to give credit to the specialists for executing when we need them to execute. Um, with that, I'll open up for questions. You have questions? You, uh, any, any, as that game went back and forth, it felt like nobody wanted to take control of the game. And was there something that you, you know, the defense do it for you really at the, in the end, the, just being able to hold them out of the end zone a couple times and that kind of thing? You know, like I said, it wasn't pretty. Uh, and again, you know, the, the, the penalties 10 to 1. You know, nothing seemed to go our way today. But you know what? That's how it's been around here. Nothing has been easy for us. Everything we, we do, we have to fight through um, everything. Um, that's why I'm proud of this team, because they could have easily gotten down on themselves. They could have easily, you know, when we turn the ball down over down there in, in their plus territory, it's easy to just kind of get in your own way. But I saw our defense continue to come over and let the offense know that we're going to get your ball back. So, wasn't pretty, but I can tell you right now that one time that they flinch on our side. And that final drive, you kind of played that about as well as you could. Didn't you take it down to the last play and kick it? Yeah, I mean, it's stuff we practiced, the execution of it. You know, we didn't get that done in the first half, but we had an opportunity to add points there at the end of the half. And, you know, we got the penalty that pushed us out. But as I said, man, this team, you know, to get us the six wins, uh, a third year in a row to be able to, to continue to develop our teams. You, you can't put a price on how valuable that extra time is when you become bold eligible uh, in terms of continuing to develop your team. And so I'm excited about that uh, more than anything. We'll go to Andrew on Zoom. Yeah, uh, Coach, how are you doing? Obviously, I think in the past in the past few weeks, you've mentioned a lot of messaging about Terps versus Terps, you know, the, the having the lack of, of discipline. When you look at today, you look at the, the 10 penalties, three or four of those after the whistle. Why do you think the message isn't being received by the group? Well, Andrew, I won't get into the negativity of that. I mean, if you're on the course of the game, competitive penalties happen. Am I happy about it? No, but you know what? I'm going to focus on the fact that we got six wins. Uh, regardless of the, the circumstances of the penalties, we'll deal with that as we watch the tape. You know, each week I turn plays into the uh, the Big Ten office and, and some of these penalties that you like to use the term lack of discipline, that isn't always the case. So I, I, I reserve judgment. Um, this team fought hard. This team continued to compete, and that's what I focus the energy on. Because you know what? To win on the road, uh, even though nothing went our way early, our team kept fighting, and that's the type of personality this team has. Coach, what was the mood like for you guys in the locker room after everything you've gone over this last month and, and what it feels to hit bowl eligibility? No, no obviously, uh, obviously, to be able to, to, be to, able to end our season. Uh, our players were excited. Um, you know, like, like I said, they, they understand that, you know, there were some things that we can correct, but we're going to enjoy this one because winning on the road is tough and it wasn't pretty. But they found a way to get the job done, and that's what we'll continue to focus on. Go to Ed Lee on Zoom. Mike, in the first half, it was hard to get much traction in the running game, and you guys had to really lean on Talia to go lead the offense. Uh, what does that say about what what you saw from Talia today? Yeah, it was no surprise. As I said, you know, leading into this game, uh, their front seven is one of the better front sevens. They're big. Uh, they play heavy-handed. Um, the thing we needed to do was continue to pound at it and know that in the fourth quarter, 
the tempo wears them down a little bit. You're able to kind of wear them down. Uh, you know, the run game got going. Roman made some big plays there, especially in that last drive when we wanted to use some clock while also moving the ball down the field. Um, our O-line did a really good job of um, handling the movement. We knew that it would be tough to run the ball, so we had a, a game plan where we were able to get the ball out of Leah's hands early, knowing that with the tempo, that if we got the game to the fourth quarter, hopefully the tempo would wear them down. And, and I thought at the end of it, our team got stronger. The run game got going when we most needed it. Brandon on Zoom. Hey, Coach. Your D, your secondary played a role in all five of the of the turnovers that Nebraska had. Just how impressed were you with their performance today? You know what? Anytime you get five turnovers in a game, and I think that's what we ended up with. You know, the, the ball was in the air. They made the plays. These are some of the plays over the last four weeks that we weren't making. You know, we haven't won the turnover battle. I think in four or five weeks, we haven't won the explosive play battle in the last four to five weeks. And today we did. And we know that that's kind of our winning formula. Uh, would I like to see us protect the ball better on offense? No doubt about it. Uh, we'll watch the tape. We'll make the necessary corrections and we'll start preparing uh, to play a, a really good Michigan team that's coming into the shell next week. Time for two more. We'll go to Taylor on Zoom. Coach, five turnovers from your defense today. Just how big was it to get that kind of performance from them, kind of get back to what was making them so successful earlier in the year? You know, it's what we needed. And when you look at when we were having success, both on offense and as a team, it usually started with our defense and their ability early in the year where they were getting their hands on a bunch of balls. As I said, we're one of those offenses that thrives off of that opportunity. Now, we've got to take care of business on our side of protecting the football better than what we did today. Uh, at the end of the day, when, I, when we needed our defense to come up big, they did. That's kind of what the game of football is all about. It's complimentary, and our defense really did a tremendous job today. Our special teams put us in position to win the, the field position battle there. And, and on offense, when we needed the, 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 to move the ball and score, uh, we were able to do that. We'll go to Matt on Zoom. Hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, he had the fumble later, but that drive by Ty Felton, where you had the two catches to bring you guys downfield. How important was that from your perspective and kind of capturing the momentum there? And You know what? It's, again, explosive plays. And anybody that plays us know that we have that ability, uh, the ability to throw the ball down the field or, or, or make explosive plays because of the type of speed we have. So it's not surprising. It was good that it happened when it happened because it was in response, you know, to them after they went down and, and were able to make a couple of plays. Uh, you know, we were able to finish a drive finally, and it was good to see Ty be able to do that. Right, thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll have our players here momentarily, everyone. Here, Jack Howes. Um, we'll go right into questions. We'll start with Kent and then go to Zoom. Talk about that last field goal. Have you kicked one like that? Game winner, last second. So I had one my senior year of high school where uh, I was, I think we were down, we were either down one or two, and it was state semifinals. And so nailed a 40 yarder to, you know, send us to the state championship. And uh, that was, I mean, this feeling is unlike anything else in sports. And, you know, I kind of missed it for a little bit, but I'm glad it's back. Knew you had it all the, all the way? So, I mean, I, I I trust the operation, you know, with Ethan the Snapper and Colton Holder. And, uh, I mean, guys up front blocking every single time. And, um, you know, I can't thank them enough. You know, I mean, defense got us the ball back, was able to, you know, put us in a good scoring position. And then offense obviously did their thing. So. 
Do you have any questions from Zoom? Do you have anything you can just unmute? Jack, um, what did what did it feel like in that locker room with everything you guys have gone through over these last you know these last four weeks and and how it feels to hit bowl eligibility for this third straight year? What was the mood like with you guys? I saw the celebration pictures. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's we're very much in high spirit right now. You know, I mean, we're going bowling. You can't can't be mad about that. Um, the past in the past, and we gotta um, you know come and be our best in the next two games. We'll go to Wes Brown on Zoom. Jack, yeah, you uh, mentioned the, you know, the the, the process there, the, the operation of the kick. Obviously, Colton not able to to punt today, but how important was it to be able to have him hold the ball from maybe like a trust factor? Um, I mean, I, I, I trust Colton. He's my roommate, and I, I mean, I, I live with him. He's 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 one of my brothers, and I, you know, I can't thank him enough for being. Um, a great holder and for stepping up when he's not able to punt, but he's, you know, willing to hold balls for me. And I really appreciate that. Um, but, you know, we also, we got a great backup in Brendan and, you know, if, if, you know, something were to happen there, it would, it would have been business as usual. Any other questions? Thank you, Jeff. Thank you guys. We'll have Dante Trader and Tilly Tomabello coming next guys. Uh, Kent, and then go to Zoom. Just talk about your defensive effort and all the takeaways. You had a couple of interceptions out there. What, what that do? First of all, I just want to talk about like the last games. We already played um, well as defensively as we wanted. So this week, um, Coach Brown Williams told us to get back to the standing. It's all defined details that we're trying to do. Um, to win the games, you got to get to takeaways. And that's big emphasis on us. Takeaways is on third down. And today, to go out there and do what we did is, you know, it just goes back to our standard and what we did in practice. And, you know, Nebraska came into the day with the nation's leading turnover number. <laughs> did you guys think you were going to get some out there? Could you see something that, okay, we can play it this way? It's not necessarily that we just honed in on Nebraska. We feel like every team um, has their weaknesses and, you know, be able to get turnovers. And we see that they put the ball on the ground and often, often um, you know, give us opportunities to get an interception. So we took advantage of it. Hello to uh, Varone on Zoom. Dante, you talked about earlier this year about how turnovers – can sometimes be luck. You know, a guy tips a pass, you catch it, that kind of a thing. Is what happened today just kind of the luck swinging in your, your favor for you guys? Are you guys doing something differently than you have in the last few weeks? I mean, I, I mean, you can say luck. I mean, you can say a lot of luck becomes a lot of luck, you know, um, takeaways. But I would just say that we were all in the right spots at the right time, you know, you know put it to God that allows us to get interceptions that we did. And then – Take me through what it was like in that locker room, you know, the celebration and kind of the euphoria that comes with a win like this where it's so back and forth. I don't know if you ever felt like um, been on a losing streak or, you know, not playing well or that little slump you're in. Um, when you're finally out of it and get back on the winning side, you get a win. Um, it's, like you said, euphoric. Um, we all celebrated with our kicker who, you know, put us in a position to win that game. We get all the credit down. What did you do? Um, I guess what was it like playing in that game that just kind of featured a little bit of everything, lots of turnovers, three different quarterbacks, number of other windy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we don't really worry about external factors. Whoever's out there on the field, we're going to go play. It has nothing to do with us. But, you know, the crazy thing is, like, I felt like it was a great environment playing. Credit to Nebraska and their fans and their tradition of having loud fans, you know, support their guys. So they definitely had a um, role that we had to play against because it's loud, especially as you see with our offense and things like that. Else for Dante. Uh, about probably four or five minutes for Talia. So, um, last drive, I think um, we played very smart. Like I said, with the uh, you know we're running the ball, you know we had a lot of time on the clock and just being conscious of the time and. Uh, you know, O-line was, was blocking their butts off and they just kept, they just kept punching and they kept, uh, kept working and, you know, um, you know, they really did the job for us. Game like this kind of frustrating where you can't really ever get any 
momentum going or is it hard to play that kind of a game? So, kind of like frustrated, you know, you kind of get down and then you turn it over or you get stopped on and you can't ever really get a momentum going. Is that tough to play? Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very tough, especially in an environment like this. But, you know, that's the name of the game sometimes. You know, you're going to have ups and downs in, in the games and you just got to continue. Like Coach Locke says, I always just refresh and stay neutral. And, you know, we're going to have opportunities and we just got to make the most out of it. We'll go to the zone. If anybody has a question, you can unmute and ask. Talia, um, Taylor, you can go if you want. Yeah, uh, Talia, just five turnovers from your defense today. Just uh, how how big was that to have that working on the other side of the ball? Oh, it's it's a blessing. I mean, defense played their butts off. You know, they gave us a, a lot of opportunities to to punch the ball in and. He gave us a lot of opportunities to play complimentary football. And um, we just got to do a better job of, of, you know, making plays and putting points on the board to give defense, you know, the confidence that they needed. And um, the defense did an awesome job with, you know, refreshing every play and continuing to uh, support us um, on the offensive side. You know, to you know, they told us that they got our backs. And no matter what happens, they're going to – we just got to keep playing hard. And, you know, that's what happened today. What for our next? Talia, when Jack's kick goes through the uprights and you're running around, uh, what was that moment like for you guys after everything that's gone on in the last four weeks? It's a blessing. It's a blessing uh, to come out, you know, victorious and, uh, against Nebraska, playing at Nebraska. And uh, Jack, you know, he's he's clutch. And we know if we, we get close enough, you know, Jack is going to end the game for us. And, uh, you know, we all – we see it in practice, you know, the hard work and the extra things that Jack does uh, to to be the type of kicker that he is. And uh, you know, it was just awesome to see see him uh, show up in big time moments like that. And, you know, just celebrating with our team, knowing the things that we've been through. And um, it's a big it's a big confidence booster for us going to the next week against Michigan. And, um, yeah, it was awesome to, to see him get a walk off a field goal like that. And then for you guys, as you're walking off the field and you're in the locker room, what was the mix between like, you know, euphoria and relief as everything that's gone on for you guys and, and kind of getting through all that adversity? Oh, uh, you're talking about halftime? Or no, uh, after the game when you were in the locker room. Oh, yeah, after the game. I mean, you know, we're going to enjoy games like this. Uh, you know, we have, we're blessed with the opportunity to go to another bowl game and, um, uh, you know, those things, you know, we got to be really appreciative of it. And, you know, I give God all the glory and the, and the praise for that. You know, none of none of these things would be possible without without him. And, um, you know, it's just a blessing. The locker room is, you know, we have, uh, we got to sing our song, our fight song again. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I think our last one, from Ed. Talia, in the first half, uh, you guys couldn't get any traction in the running game, so a lot of the offense was on your shoulders. Was that a lot of pressure for you? Uh, pressure, I mean, no, I think our mentality, and it's always been our mentality, is, you know, we got to do whatever it takes to, to win the game, whether that's running, whether that's throwing. <clears throat> and uh, at the end of the day, we just got to protect the football more. Um, I took a couple sacks today, and that's, that's something I can't do. And um, But... For us, it's it's whatever whatever the team whatever we need to do to, to win the game. And like you said, the running game wasn't working in, in, in the, the first half. But if you watch our last drive, you know the, the running game is what helped us uh, steal off the game and and give uh, give Jack Howes a opportunity to to win the game for us. So um, that's just a a great job on the O line side to you know never lose faith and the running backs to just keep running and keep going and trust the trust that our running game will come up clutch for us. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.